I want to salute you, homie, you know, for, for building your own thing and doing your own thing, creating your own platform, your own website. I got one life to live out my dreams, and I'm giving this thing all I got. I interview celebrities. I talk sports. I represent the culture. Now, right now, you're turning up on MrTalaferro.com, shawty. Yeah. Hello, I'm Condridge Holloway, and uh, good or bad, I was the first black quarterback in the Southeastern Conference, and I played at the University of Tennessee. It's football time in Tennessee! Tennessee has the highest winning percentage in college football over the past 48 years. But most of all, there is a truly indescribable quarterback. Condridge Holloway is a talented runner and pass, but his greatest talent is his scrambling and a flair for the dramatic. To be honest, I enjoyed playing baseball. I didn't really like to play football. But back in the day, we... We didn't have video games and all other stuff, indoor games to do, to play. So we all played sports, and whatever sport was in season, that's what you played. So whether it was outside or with a group or a neighborhood or at school. So we played so much in the neighborhood, I figured I'd try out for the teams at school because the whole neighborhood did it, so we just ended up on the same team. So and when it was football season, we played football. Then came basketball and then came baseball. What kind of racial barriers you were going through as a child? Like, I can only imagine some of the things you had to go through, even as a child trying to play sports, trying to make teams. What was it all like for you overall? Well, that's a good question, but what people don't understand, an eight-year-old kid didn't know anything about that. He's going out there to play, and he's doing what an adult tells him to do. The adult says to go play and take the field. He doesn't know that somebody didn't want him to play. He just goes out, he does what his coach says. And that's basically what I did for all those years. I uh, I ran into a situation when I, we played baseball down in Dothan, Alabama, where uh, the first two times up the bat, I got hit right in the back, first pitch. So I take my base first time, second time I take my base go to first base and all of a sudden our coach goes ballistic because he sees what's happening as a batter my thought pattern process was okay I got hit I know my pitcher's gonna retaliate and hit one of them so that's baseball if they want us to keep doing that we're gonna keep hitting them too I was the chosen one to take the hit well not thinking I'm the only black player out there I didn't think that. I was just thinking in baseball terms. You see it every day on television. You hit one of ours, we're going to hit one of yours. Let's go play ball. With our team, mm -hmm. there wasn't any racial barriers on our team. It was whoever was the best quarterback to play on this team. Well, they wanted the best players on the field, and that's the way the players thought. The players weren't racial at all. If you were better than somebody else, they wanted you to play. They were worried about their position. I would much rather think of how many T. Martins I helped? Tony Robinson, uh, Sterling Hinton. You know how many of those guys? That, uh, Jerry Copeland. That that it was so easy to come up and say, I want to play quarterback. And the answer was, if you can win the position, you can play quarterback. That means more to me than retaliating or even commenting on something that, first of all, I have no control over, and second of all, nobody nowadays cares unless you're doing a story. If you're looking to book me for an interview video or by phone, if you're looking to have your music or your skill featured on my daily podcast, if you're looking to book me for a speaking engagement to help motivate some kids, if you're looking to have me rock some of your clothing to help promote your brand, make sure you hit me up at booking at Again, that's booking at